Well, I think I'm not the only one who feels this way. Let's begin. Okay, this story is from the Daily Express and it says, Taking over the roads, UK drivers in furious cycle row as the new rules spark eight mile chaos. Under the new highway code, cyclists are now asked to ride in the centre of quieter roads in slower moving traffic and when approaching junctions to make themselves more visible to drivers. The code also asks cyclists to be aware of the motorists behind them and give way when safe to do so. Well, that seems fair, so what's the problem I hear you ask? Well, firstly, quite a lot of roads aren't that wide. So for cyclists to ride on the crown of the road where there may be limited space, making it virtually impossible to overtake them, especially when we need to be five or so feet away from them. So that could lead to long queues and maybe also traffic jams. Until that is, they feel kind enough to pull in and let us all pass. The thing that annoys me though is the cycle lane bit, because they don't have to use them if they don't want to. Possibly, of course, in case their bike decides it now identifies as a car, maybe. But it's designed for two reasons, to help traffic run more smoothly and also for their safety. But no, don't worry about that. Just ride in the normal lane, possibly blocking everyone. What a brilliant idea, eh? And while we're on the subject of these silly rules, don't worry if you haven't got your car serviced in a while because the public can apparently test your brakes for you by stepping out in front of your car whenever they feel like it in slow moving traffic. Of course, they used to be able to do this already with a thing called a zebra crossing. So it just makes me wonder if that will soon be added to the endangered species list. You know, I guess a standard point in the road for drivers to look out for people crossing is just too easy for us, isn't it? So they've given pedestrians prior at every junction, meaning that we now have to potentially slam our brakes on for every pullock who decides to cross the road whilst we're in the middle of turning into the road. Well, isn't that nice of them? What doesn't sound so nice, though, is the risk of getting hit up the bum by an angry taxi driver. And don't even get me started about the whole opener of the doors with the opposite left or right hand thing. I'm sure that would really look great if you got pulled over by the police and they asked you to get out of your car. You'd more than likely end up looking like a drunk driver falling out of the car instead, wouldn't you? Well, either that or maybe they think we're all starting to get fat and have to do some twisting exercises to open a door. Well, I'm sure that would be brilliant for people with bad backs, wouldn't it? Then there's also things like this. Steve Bully, the vice president of the Dorchester Chamber of Business claimed that on a recent drive, a group of cyclists stayed in the center of the road for eight miles. He said the day cyclists took over the roads, this lot refused to let cars pass for eight miles, looking back and laughing. Well, it seems like cyclists will soon be the new version of tractors, except there's a lot more of them going much slower too. You know, what could possibly go wrong? Wrong. 